Uh, Shinas, you have been working in this area for a long time and, uh, you know, uh, with the helpline that uh, your, your heavy involvement with the uh, helpline. So what do you think, uh, you know, is the most helpful for people in distress, in distress, especially, you know, when we are talking about this kind of an anxiety that is coming up and, you know, the, the, the long sadness that follows after that, along with, you know, certain guilt that, like Dr. Avinash said, that I was not able to do enough, basically. So what is your experience, Shinas? Uh, Shinas, you're on mute. Yes, Sonali. So, obviously, the first symptom that you see in any person is distress. The distress could be in any form. They could show it verbally, non-verbally. I think the most important thing for any person to support a person in distress is to listen. Is to listen actively without any judgment, without patronizing that person, you know, calmly listen to the person, vent out his feelings, vent out his thoughts. Uh, very often we have found that, you know, just talking it out, venting it all out, helps a person slowly calm down. Uh, very often, you know, you have this uh, whole uh, myth about, key, you should not ask the, about the word suicide. Do not use the word suicide because you will put that thought into that person's mind. Absolutely. On the contrary, you know, if that person is already thinking about suicide, you're asking that question directly to that person. Gives that person the support that it is okay to talk about it. It is not a taboo subject. And that I, as a person, when I'm asking you about suicide, I'm comfortable listening to your answers. Right. So acknowledging that person's thoughts, emotions, feelings, the way they are, without giving any advice, without being judgmental, I think it's the most important thing initially to help a person in distress. You know, very often you hear some family member or a colleague or a friend or a turn around and say, you itna soch mat, kuch nahi hai, bhool ja. You know, you be strong, nothing will happen. This actually right. eases the distress in the person. Hmm. So once you are able to alleviate the distress to an extent, it will also help then to guide that person to a mental health professional. Right. As Dr. Avinash mentioned, as Dr. Vilona mentioned, you know, there is a lot of other factors involved. Absolutely. There may be a hereditary factor, there are the environmental factors, which at least needs a screening from a qualified mental health profession. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so Shana, just a sub question to that, like, uh, you know, we just uh, uh, spoke about, uh, you know, it being a patriarchal kind of a family. So at what point do you think that, you know, it becomes a little challenge, right? You cannot push the patient or, you know, the family uh, to a very large extent. And then you have to say, okay, I back off at this point. So what is the level of information that you leave with them, you know, so that they at least consider it at some point? Uh, I think very factual information. Mm -hmm. So... Again, there is a lot of uh, stigma attached to mental health issues. Right. You know, educated, uneducated, across socioeconomic uh, strata, there is a lot of myths, there is a lot of stigma. You know, families don't want uh, if somebody is suffering from any kind of a mental health issue that it should, uh, it's a taboo. You know, you don't want it coming out of uh, the four walls of the house. Absolutely. So educating the family and friends is very important. For a counsellor, I think that also becomes a major part of uh, suicide prevention strategies. Right, right. Okay. You know, okay. and explaining, you know, very often when a person is distressed, uh, you uh, have a uh, family member or a friend or saying, you know, she is just uh, attention seeking. Yeah, she is, uh, uh, you know, a cry baby. Right, right, right. But right. it may be signs of a more intense or a severe mental health issue. Absolutely. So educating them about it that, you know, it, like a physical illness, you see, when you seek a doctor, you don't think twice about seeking help for a physical illness, for a physical ailment. Right. Bukhar hai, peth mein dard hai, so aap doctor ke pas jate ho. Similarly, for mental health issues also, you can approach for help. I'm absolutely a qualified professional absolutely absolutely thank you so much shanaz sonali i want to highlight uh, something that uh, shanaz ma'am said that uh, it is important not to shy away from asking the question about suicide right i think in my experience 
at least 80 to 90 percent of the times I've asked that question, the answer has been yes. Mm -hmm. And the family members and friends and everybody are looking at us, Ki kuch mat bolo, kuch mat bolo. but we know that if we don't ask that question, right. then it doesn't help us diagnose or it doesn't help us make uh, it clear to the patient and family how serious the problem is, right? right.